Hi, hello again. So in this video we will use Pillow to create a thumbnail of an image and do other things. Okay, so this is the PyPy uh, page of Pillow. Uh, I will leave in the description and uh, the first step that we must do is install Pillow and for that we must open the terminal and do pip install Pillow just like this. Hit enter and it will do the magic to install the pillow in your Python installation. Uh, I will not do this because I already have pillow installed. Okay, so let's do the code. So, like I said before, we will do a thumbnail, we will rotate the image, flip the image, crop, uh, blur, make the image black and white and add some contrast to the image. Also the image that I will use is this one, okay? So we are ready to start and first, first of all, we must um, import, we must import something. So from peel, okay, in uppercase, peel because uh, pillow is a fork of peel, okay? So that's why it is called peel and we want to, to import the image class. Why do we want to import the image class? Well, because we want to open the image file, okay? So our image will be equals to image dot open and then we provide a string that is the path for our image because my image is my image file is in the same folder of my script my python script i just have to type the name of the image so simpson.jpg okay is just this after this we can start doing the thumbnail thing to create a thumbnail we must define we must define a size for the thumbnail. So size is equals to a tuple and let's say it will be like um, 200 by 200 pixels. Okay, and then we do image.thumbnail, we provide the size, okay, and after this we can save the image, so image.save and of course we must provide a name for the file it will be thumbnail.jpg okay let me open the terminal let me put this lower and spy program and run this a file will appear and e this is our our thumbnail this is the original one and this is the thumbnail as you can see we have here some it's a little bit pixelated because was it was shrinked right um so let's continue this thing we did the thumbnail it's very easy now let's rotate the image let me rotate the image the, to rotate the image is very very easy to to do that we just need to image dot rotate and how much 90 degrees and we can save or I can show just show show what is do this will open the default image preview of your operative system okay is just that so if I run this and we get this image okay um, as you can see we have here these black bars and also let me show you the original image we have these black bars and also we have this hand this hand is cropped why because the width and the height of the image is the same he, um, pillow just rotated the pixels okay and what we actually want is for example uh, rotate the image um, for sure um, so let's go here and do another thing instead of image rotate we do image dot transpose okay transpose and then we provide the image and say uh, image dot rotate 90 degrees okay and then show let's see the result of this let me run it will open the first rotate okay this is the first one and this is the transposed as you can see the hand was not cropped 
Uh, okay, this one is okay. Let me comment these and let's go to the next one. Let's flip the image. To flip the image, we do. We need to do a transpose. So image dot transpose, and we say image dot um, flip from top to bottom. Okay, top to bottom, and let's show the image. Let's see what this does. And as we expected, it will be this. Okay, the image is from top to bottom flipped. Um, also, we can do other things. For example, for example, we can flip from left to right, and as you may guess, it this will generate the flipped like this. Let me show you the original image. So this is the original image, and this is the flipped from left to right. Um, okay. Also, we have another one. We have another one that I can show you. Let me show you. It has a, a very strange name. That is the Floyd Stenberg. This one. What this does? Let me uncomment the first one. The flip top bottom just for you to see to compare the two and the first one top bottom is this one and this is the Floyd Stenberg as you can see it just not only flips from top to bottom but also from left to right okay this is the result this is the result let me comment this part Comment these and let's go to the crop. Let's crop the image. To crop the image, we must define um, we must define a box that we want to crop. Let's say that we want to crop just a face. We want just a face. So let's call it face box. Okay, is equals to a tuple. I don't know yet what what are the val the values that I will put here. So let me go here to the image. Open in note. In, sorry, in paint. Okay, open in the paint and. As like I said, I want to crop something like this. I want to get um, the face like this. Okay. Also, so the the dots, the values that we will point in the code will be these in this part. Let me put this bigger. So we will start here. Okay. And as you can see here in the bottom left, we have here the the x and y positions of our cursor. So it will be more or less two five zero twenty. So two five zero and twenty for the starting position, and the ending position will be more or less here. Okay. So it will be five nine four 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 five five nine four 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 five. Okay, this is the face box, and then we can do image dot crop, and we provide the face box, and I can show you these. Let's run. Let's run, and. This is the result. We just have the face. Um, also, we can do other thing. Other thing. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. Let's say that we have a face that is this. Okay, this crop. Uh, we have this crop that is the face, and also flipped face is equals to face dot transpose. And we provide the image dot uh, flip from top to bottom. Can be this, and then we can go to the real image, image dot paste. What we want to paste the flipped face, okay, and where in the face box, okay, region. So with this we can, oops, image dot show. We can image show and see the result. So let's run, and the result will be this. Okay, this uh, the face is flipped. 
Um, so the crop is okay. So comments. Let's go to the blur. To blur uh, image, we must apply a filter. For that, we must import from peel. Uh, we want to import image filter, filter right, image filter, and then we do image dot filter, okay, and we provide what the image filter dot and they have here several options okay kernel max filter median filter and other filters okay the one that we want is the gaussian blur okay because this is a blur um, and then um, we provide a value for this let's say 20 20 and show these and show these so let's run and the result will be this we have a blurred image maybe it was too much let's say three and run again and the result is this is a little bit blurred okay so blur is okay let's comment and let's do a black and white image to do a black and, uh, and white image, we must convert the image into black and white mode. So we do image.convert and we provide a mode that is equals to the letter L. Um, the, real, the real meaning of L is uh, the L mode is grayscale, is not black and white. Grayscale, okay? And then we show this. We show these and let's run and the result will be and this is the result okay is a grayscaled image um, let me comment these and let's do the contrast the contrast to do the contrast we must in enhance the the image so we must import from peel uh, we want to import uh, image dot enhance okay image enhance and then we declare a e that is equals to image enhance and then dot and we have here contrast but we have other options we have for brightness color contrast and sharpness because this is uh, contrast I will do contrast okay um, the contrast uh, then needs the image, the real image, so image here. And after this, we can do the e dot enhance, enhance, and we provide the value. It will be 1.84. Uh, this means 80%. So 1.8 is 80%. So let's show. No, let's save. We we so we can see the images side by side um, contrast dot jpg okay let's run this it will create here the file okay is here uh, let me open these in the right and that's it we have here this is the original image and in the left is the contrast as you can see it's a little bit more yellow it's uh, yellow and bluish so this is it um, also if you want to know more here in the project of uh, in the PyPy um, page of below we have here the documentation okay and in the documentation this handbook is very very useful okay they have here uh, very cool tips for for us okay and this is it I hope that you learned something from this video and don't forget to leave the like share with your friends share is very important um, uh, leave a comment uh, if you have any any suggestions for a future video leave a comment and uh, subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get other videos like these and as always thank you for watching bye